Alright guys, a quick tutorial on which uh, video player to use, how, where to get it, and how to set it as the default inside Windows 8. So basically, uh, my favorite video player is uh, Pot Player, um, and I get it here. Uh, this is the most reliable site to get it from. It's uh, Gizmos Freeware or www.techsupportalert.com. I have a 64-bit version, so I click on this, and then I scroll down to multimedia. Click Pop Player, and I get it from their download right here. It's made in uh, Korea, I think. So it's if you don't get this one, it's uh, it's gonna be in Korean, maybe you don't know. Um, also, if you update it from within the app, you'll end up with a Korean version of it. So, um, I'll go ahead and run this. And, uh, install it. Here we go. As you can see, Korean? I think it's Korean. I'm not sure, though. And I'll have it do the default settings right here install and I already have it installed I'm installing it over what I currently have I'll show you why I use it once I install it too okay so now we got it installed and we have videos and uh, typically you well let's do this I actually have some that aren't so this is probably so these are FLVs and they have no file, uh, no program associated with them. But uh, you can actually, sometimes it'll be like, watch, if I, to assign a default program, you click it, then you right click it and you choose open with. And you'll choose more options because Pop Player won't appear in there at first. It only appears in there because I've already chosen it as a default player for my other stuff. But if I click more options, you won't see it and then you'll want to go look for another app on this PC and since I got the 64-bit version of it it's going to be in program files and program files is the 64-bit programs and on a 64-bit computer if you want to run non 64-bit programs it has to install this x86 folder of programs and these are going to be um, normal 32-bit programs so I'll go ahead and go into the 64-bit program program files folder Dom is uh, who makes Pop Player, so I'll go ahead and there, and then I will go ahead and choose Pop Player Mini 64 and click Open. That now, as you can see, it said all the default uh, players for that as Pop Player, and Pop Player is nice because watch here if I click uh, preferences, you want to get this. I don't know why it does this, but the aspect ratio you want to be keep the aspect ratio. For a uh, playlist, I usually have it um, not auto save the playlist. And then for uh, in general, I usually have it show the uh, show with with the taskbar. And in Windows, what's pretty neat is that you can have uh, if you right click on here and you go to properties. You can combine, or I have two taskbars, so I have it show the taskbar buttons on the taskbar where the window is open. So if I go to my other, you can't, I'm only recording one screen, but the other screen has uh, files open on it, and you can't see them down here in the taskbar because when I go and I want to move around quickly, I just want to make one click. I don't want to hover over it and then click on the particular um, program that, you know, I have to do. So I want to be able to click on the window, like, immediately. So you can do that if you also choose combine only when the taskbar task bar is full. If you choose never combine, you'll end up with, um, which is also okay, you'll end up with like double layers of uh, a taskbar. Let's see if it does it. I'll open up a bunch of programs here. Let's see. Pull all these over here. At some point, it needs to... Say, it's got to double up at some point. I know it. 
when heart deviates from the normal rhythm. What are cardiac arrhythmias? Cardiac arrhythmias are said to be present whenever Sorry. heart deviates from out of the normal rhythm. So first of all, we should be able to build up. Very, very never combine. I had never, never combined on here. Now, let me discuss with you the normal What's going on? Heart. So it's supposed to not do that. It's supposed to like double. Maybe it's because I have. All of you must be knowing that for normal cardiac rhythm, one of the very. No, I don't know. Normally it'll make two layers of files here, probably because they're all the same file. And I wish I could open up more and show you. Let's try this. I know we can do this for you. Well, I'm task bar. Seriously, not small enough. I'm gonna make this work. I'm not stopping this until it works. Do I even have enough programs? Come on. This has got to be. This is ridiculous. Alright, so it's not combining them. I thought that it normally made two layers, and maybe I, maybe it's because I don't have a. Uh, maybe it's another button. They are taking origin from atria or from the ventricle or from the AV node, then these are not considered as normal cardiac rhythm. This is killing me. Number three criteria is that. See, but you see how I can click on a particular folder if I know, or a particular program where if I know where it is, I don't have to worry about uh, holding out, hovering over it. And normally you would only have one of these, and you have to hover over it, and then you'd go to select your your file there. But uh, I, this is this is killing me. Uh, all right, whatever. So, I'm not going to mess with this right now. But, uh, <laughs> I was determined and I failed. Uh, let's get back to Pop Player. Okay, so I have Pop Player open somewhere on here. Yeah. You can press the C key to speed it up at multiple times the speed. As you can see right here, it's changing the speed. And then you can press the X key to slow it back down if, if you get to something that you you know you need to slow it down for. You can also, which is pretty awesome, is, is uh, see the audio sync I'm changing. It's hold down the shift key and then the um, right pointing carrot. I forget what it's called. Um, it looks like that. And then the other one, the left one, looks like that. So you can uh, you can actually. If you get a video file where the audio and video are not synced up correctly, you can modify that as you go. So, uh, and then the uh, backslash goes ahead and sets it to the default. Um, and Z will set the play speed to 1, so X and uh, C. That's pretty handy. You can also come down here and, and you know, you see how you, you don't even have to open it to change the uh, settings. And the audio player is pretty good too, so if I have an audio file that I like, let's say, uh, you know, typically if you open up Windows, and this is what will happen, you'll get the Windows media player, and this is what happens with videos too, if you don't have, if you have a different one set as the default. So like I have this classical dance, and I actually enjoy the uh, Windows music thing, but uh, if you wanted to make it something else, and not set it as default, 
you can uh, right click it and choose open with and just choose it uh, shoot, you actually have to make it the default unless it's already up there so I'll choose pop layer so now it's open in this video on pop layer and you can you can set it to be like uh, set all kinds of crazy options in here but um, if you if you think it might be out of date don't go ahead and choose uh, check for updates here that'll bring in the um, Korean version I think it's Korean so anyways this is a great video player it plays almost any file it's fast it's a small program and um, once set as the default uh, this is definitely the way to go so and again and I'll go ahead and change this default back to because I want to listen to it in the music player but so all you do is go open with choose default so now I could just open it with and it wouldn't make it the default but choose default program and I'm gonna have it be the music app so anyways there you have it uh, pop player check it out and uh, set up a couple of those settings how I told you and you'll be very happy with it um, alright y'all take it easy good luck studying and uh, good luck in life